Hey guys, welcome back. It is your favorite Gimple Limp, and as you can see, I'm back with a little more Conflict of Heroes. We're going to jump right back into the game since uh, we are in the midst of it. Make sure you watch all the previous videos and all that yada yada. Crap. Uh, we are on the German's turn, and I think... Should I take some last minute attacks before I do anything else? Because I'm looking over here, I can take an attack with these engineers, put some fire on this guy. I might be able to damage him. And I think I might just do that because I got a little gap right going up through there and he's still being towed by the truck and on the off chance that I damage the truck, that's good stuff. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention before we got fully going. Uh, remember on the previous video when I was making attacks down over here, remember if there are multiple units in the hex, the attack does hit both units in the hex or all the units in the hex. Uh, the only reason I was not doing that though is because this, uh, this unit's attack could not damage that tank from the front. I mean, there's no way, wouldn't matter what I rolled. So I wasn't bothering to, to roll on it. I don't remember if I had mentioned that or not, but yeah, if you can damage the units, you know, might as well uh, go for the attack on. But, see, so he says, this gun is weakened, this gun's here. If I can put some damage on them, weaken them, or especially immobilize them, that would be great because then they wouldn't be a threat to the Panther and he could go ahead and bolt out, and then I'd only have to worry about this one tank, or not this one tank, this one uh, unit here as I was going, but I don't wanna, because I was thinking I could just keep him facing this way since that's the tougher gun, but then it's costing me two because I think it costs one extra to move a tank like backwards as you're moving along, plus he wouldn't be able to go as fast. But if I can get out of range, because his range is eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can hit up to about here, all right? Just depending on where you're counting from. So if you move to there and then there, so maybe one opportunity, maybe two to take shots on him from the flank, which his flank is 16. And with his firepower of seven, if he's not firing at long range and getting that penalty, that gives him a hit number of nine, which is doable. So we'll have to see how we're gonna play that out. Plus I really don't want him to spend. I want him to just bug out because that's my win condition. All right, yeah, let's have our engineers make their attack. Their little front hexes here. Trace it right up. He is in the front hex and his truck is in that front hex. So their firepower four is being compared against their frontal defense of 13 on the gun and 11 on the truck. So that is good, 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 good stuff. We will try to mess them up. I'm not gonna spend any of my caps that I have left. I'm gonna save those in case I need to move the tank later. Let's roll. The first one is for the gun, second one will be for the, uh, the, uh, the truck. All right, so let's see if we can damage the gun. I need a hit of nine or better. That's definitely not it, that's a whiff. All right, now this is for the truck that's underneath the truck being an 11 uh that's a hit number seven yeah okay we know how much i love rolling sevens watch this be a six too no nice nine so we did get it we got the hit on the truck and the truck it's red so it's con okay here's where i'm rather lost you can hit it with this, but it should be still considered a vehicle, I would think. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a blue one for it. I'm probably wrong on that. You guys let me know in the comments. I'm not gonna bother uh, digging up the rule book for that, but it just, it feels, it's a vehicle, right? So I'm gonna draw a vehicle thing for it. All right, look it away, look it away, shuffling, shuffling. Give me something good, something deep. And perfect, perfect. That is the exact one I needed because that slows them down they cannot go anywhere at this point they are locked in place and there is no rally on that one so that truck is stuck if this gun wants to move it's going to spend its movement as four points instead of the one point with a bonus move that the truck gets so my thought was the soviets could try to rush over here with the gun and drop it off real quick so they could try to fire at the rear of the tank 
as he's going. They're definitely not doing that now. That was perfect. That's exactly what I needed. All right, let's roll, see if those guys are spent. They are, no biggie, they are spent. They accomplished their mission. They slowed them down. All right, and I actually forgot to shuffle these cards. Give me a sec, I will shuffle. So yeah, I needed to actually shuffle these from the previous uh, round and I forgot to, so I went ahead and got that done real quick. Draw the card, see what they're gonna do. AI closest to lowest defense value unit attack. All my guys are gonna be pretty well close on their defensive values. Who are they going to attack? Well, let's first move this off. Remember those guys have activated. Their soft target firepower is not that good. His soft target firepower is not that good. It costs him a lot to fire. Maybe have the infantry conduct an attack against, or this infantry conduct an attack. He's got no close range. Let's see, three versus, and that's a blue building, so that's 15, or 14, so ooh, yeah, that's not good for him either. That hit number of 11, no line of sight there, no line of sight there. All right, so hit number of 11 if he's gonna go after him. If this infantry were to fire, that would be uh, hit number of 10 if they were to fire at this gun. So that might be a good one for him. Hit number 10, it's a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they've got the higher firepower, not as good. Gun wants to wait for something else, although he's on the wrong side down here because the tank's gonna go out that way, but we're not gonna move him. Yeah, we're gonna give him this attack here. This one, firing at this gun that is spent here, see if they can, uh, hurt them, give them a hit number of 10. It's not the best, but it is possible. 10, 11, or 12, we'll do it. Let's see. Nope, they are not rolling hot today. Hopefully that will continue. And are they spent? They are not spent, you little bastards. <laughs> they are sticking around. All right, so my gun's spent. Maybe I take one more shot at this gun to see if I slow it down because of the firepower five against is that that's a hit number of 10 for me. Do I go ahead and take it or do I go ahead and take the shot down there? I think I already traced that, that this artillery gun doesn't have a line of sight there or it does. Let's see. It, Looks like it's not clipping, but am I? Make sure I've got the hexes in the exact right portion so we don't screw this up. Uh, oh, I can't tell, but I'm thinking that's good. So I'm hoping I haven't measured that before and rolled it bad, but it looks good. So I could fire down on that tank, but it's eight firepower against his... 17 with the bonus, which brings them up 19. That's a hit number of 10, so no, that's not as good. Yeah, let's go with the gun instead because the gun uh, gives me a hit number of 10 instead of 11. So we're gonna have this HMG fire down on these guys one more time, this one more time. And should I spend a cap on it? Hit number of 10 versus hit number of eight if I spend a couple of caps? Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna spend a couple of caps. Bam, we're gonna drop that down by two. I had three, it leaves me one. And we're gonna have a hit number now of eight instead of 10 and see if we can put a little bit of a damper on this damn uh, AT gun so my tank can just bolt the hell out and call it a day. Nine, that's what I'm talking about. That would have been a miss by one had I not spent the cap points on that thing. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so let's draw this. That gun finally hit something. I think he's fired at that AT gun, like something like, what, five, six times and missed every time. All right, look it away, look it away, look it away. Let's get this one here. Pinned. That's shit. <laughs> he can't move, he doesn't give a crap about moving. <laughs> and I'm not planning on uh, shooting at him anymore. What the hell? Oh. So horrible, so horrible. Okay, 
Let's draw a card for the AI. AI, what are they gonna do? Highest attack rating AI, farthest from the lowest defense value unit, closest to an AI. All right, that's a mouthful attack plus one caps. All right, so the highest attack rating they have, that's the farthest from one of my lowest defense value units, which again, most of mine are within a point and they're getting a bonus. So which one would they have the best chance of causing some hurt on? And they would like to get rid of an HMG. Oh, too bad they can't make that attack over there. Again, I mean, they guess they technically could and they wouldn't mind because that, that is one of my lower defense values. That's 14, he's 14, he's 14, and that's with the bonus modifier that they've got. He's 14, he is 12. Okay, is he in range? One, two, three, four, five, six, he is in range. So, attack power four, so four plus one is five, hit number 12, that gives them the hit number of seven. That's the best chance because I don't think Dummy here has a range or it has a line of sight because the building, he's the best chance of actually taking out one of my units. So we're going to give him that one. This shot coming up here, firing down, he's getting plus one. So he's got five against my 12 because there is no terrain there. Blocking me gives him a hit number of seven, which seven is that magic number. You want to get down to seven on that 2D, uh, 2d6 roll if at all possible. All right, come on. No way, man. And seven, and that's exactly why you wanna to get to seven. So many opportunities to roll it. All right, looking away, looking away, looking away. Dig down in here, find something good. I always like to dig one out from the bottom. Stunned, they can't do shit. Although I'm not horribly concerned. Everybody's taking a little bit of damage. We got yellow counters all over the board now. There's one over here, 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 here. It's actually starting to get a little tense. They wiped out all my defense over there. Let's take, I'm thinking I just go ahead and bug out with the damn tank. Okay, so I was sitting here thinking about it and I either have to run because I've got the bonus moves, but if I get here and like say, turn him around, right? And I'm facing this way and then I try to shoot up the road, then I'm not getting the bonus move and I'm not getting the, uh, or I'm getting a penalty on top for moving backwards. And I was thinking of facing that way, so I'm at least facing my greatest threat. And I said we just go balls to the wall. This is probably gonna be the last video of it because I think I can get the tank either off or dead by the end of this round. So let's take and go for it. We're going to bug out with the tank, the cruise end. They're going to go one and two. Not in the best position there, but they're going to be facing this way so I can still get my bonus move on this, right? We, we've got to go for it. And damn, I don't think I rolled for the, uh, the spend check on these guys. So we're going to roll for the spend check here and here at the same time, or not the same time, back to back rather because I do believe I forgot to roll for the uh, HMG. Let's roll for it. HMG is good. Now is the tank good as well? Yes, tank is good. Perfect. All right, now we'll move the stress icon there. All right, you, you stay good. We're gonna be going back and forth. Let's draw a card, see what the AI is going to do. AI, hit AI closest to a unit, rally. Mm, which one's closest? One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna give it this way because I wanna be fair to what the card's saying. This one's four hexes away, this one's four hexes away. One, two, three, four, five, six, because this one I think it's better for them not to try to rally that. But I'm gonna give it to them which way they go. Wait, 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 that's right, no rally, they don't have a choice. He cannot rally on he, the fact that he is mobilized, so they are gonna to have to take the rally attempt. There, is he going to rally? I almost rolled one dice, like, ah, probably not gonna rally if he rolls one. And they got the rally. They got the rally, so that was worth it to him. Key thing is, do they spend? 
<gasps> they do not. That was a crucial, crucial roll for them. That's the second damn time that thing has rallied. No kidding. Okay. That changes the game up a little bit because A-hole over here is rallied and good to go, and he can fire up my tailpipe. Let's see. I've only got one. If I move him now, if I move him now, right, it gives me one more turn to be out of his range, and I'm not wholly worried about this guy because he's firing at the front and his gun's damaged, so he's, uh, he's pretty bad off right now. So I just got to get out of range of this one gun here and nothing else is going to matter. All right, that, that's pretty much going to be game at that point because they won't have anything that they can get in range before I can get that tank off the board. So I think we push it. We go for the stress move. One, two, right? Go into there. And now we're going to roll to see if Dummy spends because uh, unfortunately I didn't forget it on this one, but hopefully he will not spend so let's roll our die and see if dummy has spent he does not spend yay good but you're staying stressed let's see one two three four five six seven eight he is just in range if i go one more i get to here that's pretty much game because at that point it's one two three uh, it's two turns before I get him off the board. So pretty much this is their last chance to take him out. I'm not even going to draw a card. We know what they need to do. He's uh, good to go. He did not spend. The only chance they have is firing up my damn tailpipe. We're just going for it. I don't want to run the risk of drawing a card and them not getting it. I got to give them this shot. So seven firepower. Against my 16 defense, gives them just the base hit number of nine. Everything comes down to this. Can they hit the tank as it's moving off the board? If they miss this shot, that's it. I pretty much won the game. If they hit with this shot, depending on what's drawn over there, will determine if they win the game. All right, so let's roll. No nine, 10, 11, or 12. All right, I need low numbers here. Low numbers. <gasps> yes! That's a six. I saw that four. I was a little puckered there for a second. They missed. We'll draw to see if he does spend. And he does spend. That is going to be the conclusion of them. I think we've pretty much uh, guaranteed it on this one. Uh, we'll go ahead and move the tank again, I guess. Do I want to take any other shots? Nah. We'll go ahead and jam a tank forward. One, two. And roll to see if he spends. Does he spend? No, he does not spend. Perfect. All right. And I don't think there's anything else they can do. Because, he, oh, and he's even spent. I didn't even pay attention to that fact. He spent up there. They can't damage it even at close range from the flank. Yeah, they get a plus three. Infantry get a plus, or every unit gets a plus three, rather at close range, so even if they got in close range and got the plus three bonus to their blue attack, which is zero, it still wouldn't be enough even if they were attacking from the flank. I think we have won this match because on the next one, I would go up by two, and then the next one, I would be off, and i definitely get them on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one a win for the Gimpy, which will make up for the fact that I lost the last one. So it's, it's actually come out pretty even so far. I won the first game. The tank game that I played, the big massive uh, tank game, which was really good. Four maps laid out, uh, tanks from both sides going at it. That, that's still uh, probably one of my uh, my favorites. All the monster tanks spread out. Really suggest trying that out. The monster tank expansion for Conflict of Heroes is just sweeter than hell. So mixing that with a huge tank battle uh, scenario, and that one, and that one actually came down to the wire. It was like the last. Um, what was it? Last roll. Like I had to play certain cards. I had to make certain rolls. Like as long as this card plays right and this roll goes right, I can kill the, the enemy commander tank and win the match. And, you know, that was going to decide it. And I think it was something like I had run around and flanked behind him, got in close range to get that bonus. And then was playing cards on top because I had given him like the most powerful IS tank as the commander to make it as uh, difficult as possible. And then you guys, if you did watch the series I did after that, 
where I played the Soviets and they were having to rush through the cornfield where they, I didn't give them the, uh, the corn as blocking terrain. And it was just flat out open that if they were there and they got spotted and I came up with a little house rule for that one, they were going to get, you know, pancaked and they ended up getting spotted <laughs> right off the bat. So they were all cooked uh, really quick by a handful of German units. And then this one, I got to say, I had fun with this one too. I got to say, I think my, it, the second one just didn't play that well. I don't believe I'd have to tweak it a little bit, but this one was fun just depending on whether or not you got to activate that tank, the getting the tank activated. And then it's also where the enemy units come up because if they had spread more this way instead of down this way, they had kind of control over this section of the map and I had control over this section of the map. They pushed here and it just, this wasn't able to do as much as I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to give them kind of like a rain fire down on the town. They just really didn't capitalize. It just didn't work for them here. The big thing is they projected their force in this direction and they did it because there was cover, right? There was cover right here. They could project their force in and stay in cover themselves, especially since my units weren't covered. So they, like defensively aggressive, I guess is a good way to go with it in this direction, but it just wasn't enough to push through here, but it did, you know, take out the defenses I had in over here. So if they had pushed harder, I think maybe got into the backside lower part of this town that could have changed it up, but they still had so many units that hadn't even gotten involved. Maybe next time I would have this tank, you know, these units start coming into the game on the second round instead of the third round. But again, that kind of depends. If you get lucky and your Panther, you know, reactivates there in the first turn, it's not gonna matter when they come in. But if you get unlucky and they never activate, then it is gonna matter when they come in because they can push in and take control over here while these units take control here and just squish the town in. Real fun scenario. I suggest you guys try, uh, try this one out if you, uh, have enjoyed watching it or just create your own. It's, it's real fun doing that stuff. I gotta say, I just love the Conflict of Heroes series. Good components, good counters, good everything. And third edition really did give it that little boost. I mean, it's just taking it to the whole next level for me. I always look forward to the, the videos I'm gonna film when it comes to Conflict of Heroes because it, it's just fun to see how the game kind of morphs and plays out there in front of you. All right, but that's gonna be it for me for this one. You guys wanna see some other stuff in the Conflict of Heroes line? Feel free to let me know down in the comments. Y'all take care. I'll catch you in the next one.